I got into uh, Georgetown and George Washington for their public policy program. In fact, here is my uh, acceptance letter from Georgetown. It's all nice, and it's even signed and personalized by uh, the dean of admissions, Andrew. And he says, congratulations. I hope you will come to DC and join us at Georgetown and pursue your interest in immigration policy. So really glad that he looked into my application. He's you know, hoping that I go there. And I wish I can go there. But the fact of the matter is, is I couldn't apply for FAFSA and student loans. That's an the DREAM Act, in a nutshell, says if you are a young person and you were brought here by your parents and you're in illegal status, if you have finished high school, and we will give you a six-year temporary residency, and if during those six years you finish two years of college or you go into the mili military service for two years, then you're on a path to citizenship. That's good. UCLA marching band, got black pants, black shoes. People don't know about my status until I tell them. My family had legal status for about eight years, so with the religious visa, because my dad was a pastor, I was able to obtain a driver's license, but unfortunately it got expired uh, on my 21st birthday, so I don't have a driver's license now. When I first found out about my situation, um, I was terrified. This country didn't want me anymore. That was a shocking experience. I didn't know what to do when I saw that letter in my hand. Um, pretty much said, get out. We don't want you here. And you know, at that time, I, I, I was surprised. I said, how, how could this be? Uh, what, have, what have I done? You know, I, I just studied hard. I was being the normal kid. Since we got here, we filed papers, we paid taxes, we paid our lawyers, we paid all, all our fees, all our uh, papers, all that. Only to find out in the end, after eight to nine years of going through the legal process, that our sponsor had mismanaged our paperwork and we kept trying to appeal and appeal, but it never worked out in the end. And that's how our immigration system is. I love my dad to death. He's seriously my hero. He right now works at a gas station in Los Angeles, working graveyard shifts and regular shifts, so he gets about four to five hours of sleep a day. So that my younger sister, Lena, and I can go to college. Seeing him come home sometimes at like two and then going back work at six in the morning, like it just kills me because He's sacrificing his, his, his life for Lena and I so that we can continue our education here in America. For me, I'm a very optimistic type of person. I, you know, when something gets, you know, at my nerves or something like hits me hard, I take it, but I, you know, just get back, right back up and I just keep moving forward with it. For instance, when the DREAM Act didn't pass last December, I, I didn't take it easy. It was hard. There was a time when I just wanted to give up, but like I said, I, I didn't want to just quit right there. 
because I still have hope that change can happen and it will happen. It's just that it takes time. So we're here today to ask that you give our generation a chance, an opportunity for us to contribute back to this nation. But we're not going to stop trying until we get it. We will continue to mobilize, we will continue to organize, and we will not give up until we all achieve our dreams. Dream Act now! Dream Act now! Dream Act now! Throughout the land